Hey, Kevin, how are you? Fine. I'm just, just in another class, teacher. Huh? No problem. Just give me as uh, You finished the other minute. class? No problem, no problem, Kevin. Go ahead. Thanks. Yep. Jose, how are you? Hi, fine. Thank you. Good, good. Hey, Elizabeth, that Jonathan told me that he contacted you. Is it true? He fixed the problem? Good. Oh, really? Okay. You, you're on mute, but I understand. It's okay. I see you're, you're smiling, so this means yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I uh, I always forget to change that thing. Um. Yeah, I was telling you that. Yeah, he contacted me, and uh, yeah, I I I I resolved the problem. Basically, it was my mistake. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. No problem. Yeah. The important is that that's his job to to make sure to help you, and you know. In, in, the important is that now you are ready. You can get that diploma. Yep. <laughs> okay, good, good. All right, how is everybody else? Romulo, Veronica, how are you? Fine, fine, thank you. Doing well, teacher, thank you. Great. Good evening. Good evening, great to hear that. All right, so uh, we, are, we still have, um, our topic is still looking at the past and of course, we added one more yesterday. Yesterday, we added the past perfect. So this week, we have seen the past, the simple past, the past continuous, and yesterday, we added the past perfect. Do you remember the difference between the, these three types of past? You remember why we use the past perfect, how that is different? The past perfect is what, the action. Go ahead, Elizabeth. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I was uh, gonna ask that what lesson uh, you studied yesterday because I couldn't, yeah, uh, uh, couldn't make it. Ah, oh, okay, perfect. It, it, that was for lesson four seven. Well, oh we studied God. from from four five to four seven mm -hmm. because we had the new stories and we had the the past perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead, Romulo. You were saying? Yeah. Uh, the past perfect uh, use when the uh, two action in the past, but uh, past perfect is before, and the the action uh, or before the action in the past. I don't know. I, but uh, you have two two action in the past. But you use past perfect before, right? That is that is correct, Romulo. That is correct. When you have two actions in the past, the action that happened first is going to be the past perfect. That's right. The action that happened before the other action. Okay. Mm -hmm. Usually, it's we can look at it in a couple of different ways. One is the action that in that uh, interrupts. Okay, is going to be the simple past. Okay, uh, they, the, um, I don't know, they, they called, the phone rang, uh, the car crashed, whatever this was, the action that interrupted, this is the simple past. The action that was happening at that moment is the past continuous. I was driving, okay, when uh, uh, the car, when I crashed my car, okay, I was driving, happens before, I crashed my car because this is the action that happened or was at the moment, ING. The action that interrupts, simple past. And as Romulo mentioned, the action that happened before I was driving or the action that happened before that is the past perfect. I had, uh, I had been crying or I had gone to the dentist. Ah, this action happened before I was driving. And I was driving happened at the, at the same time that I crashed my car. That's the idea of the function of the three. 
simple past is the action that interrupts another action or is finished, okay? The past continuous is the action that was not finished or at a specific time. So example, at seven o'clock yesterday, at, uh, um, at eight o'clock this morning, I was, you know, whatever it is, at a specific time or an action that was incomplete. And the past perfect is the action that happened before any of those actions. The past perfect is the action that happened before the others. Okay. Uh, teacher, I have a question. Yeah. I was working on the knowledge uh, check 4.4. 4. Okay. And um, one of the exercises uh, uh, said while divers were working off the coast of Florida, mm -hmm. what is the meaning of we're working off? That means that in the coast is El Puerto de la Libertad. Uh, this is the coast where the people go surfing, right? Where you go walking in Malincón. This is the coast. No, but, but right? just, the, just the phrase we're working off. Right, right. That's why we're working off the coast. So from this area, they are outside. They are in the water. They are in the ocean. They are off the coast. Oh. Like the fishermen or to see whales in El Salvador. To see whales, you have to go off the coast. Sailors. Oh. Sailors too? Sailors too. That's right, Ramon. Sailors too. Mm -hmm. So it's the same mean that out? It's similar to the meaning of, of out, yes. But it's not the same because it's not like you can't say I'm out of the house, I'm off the house. It's, it's only for this context. Mm -hmm. It's, mm -hmm. Think of it as separated. It's more like separated from. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, well, it's not, it's not uh, uh, common, common to say. Oh, to know that because I would say I was working out because of Claudia, you know? I mean, yes, yes, yes. But here, this is the difference. When you say I was like working, that. when you say I was working um, uh, on, on the coast of Florida or the coast of El Salvador, yes, in, in the area, in the beach, in Malecon, this, when you say I'm working off the coast, is maybe like uh, for oil, where they have the oil in the ocean. This is off the coast. Or where you are for a fisherman or for someone that has, doesn't have contact with the land. Okay, I got it. Mm -hmm. That's why I say it's, it's not like out, but it's more like separated from, separated from the situation. Okay. Okay. Anybody else? Any other questions or uh, about exercises or anything from the platform? Okay. Great. Okay. So here we got, let me share the screen with you so we can remember a little bit about our past perfect. Okay. Okay, so as you can see here, we're looking at the past event. What we were talking about, I was working out, this is like going to the gym, right? Uh, I came back, is I returned, okay? They were able to steal it, okay? This is, the, they had the ability or they, they could do this action. But if you notice, all of these events are in the past, which is the blue X right here in the picture, is the blue X. The past perfect means that all of these phrases or all of these actions happen before the blue X. So I was working out the blue X. Before the blue X, ah, I had put my stuff in my locker. I put the stuff in the locker here before this. Okay, the same here. I came back in, this is in the past. 
So in the X, I returned to my house or, okay, I came back. But before I came back, someone had stolen my wallet. When did they steal the wallet? They stole the wallet here before I returned. Okay, this is the past perfect. The past perfect is the actions that happened before. All of the past perfects are always going to have the word had and the past participle. Not the past tense or not the simple past. It's always had and the past participle. Then we have the next one. They were able to steal it here. In this moment, they stole it, okay? Why did they steal it? Ah, because before they stole it, I had forgotten, I had forgotten to lock my lock, lock the locker here. Okay, does that make sense how we use the past perfect? Yes, teacher. I think so. Okay, all right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try using it. We're gonna think about things that we've done, okay? That you did last weekend, that you did last week, the different activities. And you want to do it with the past perfect, okay? So you're gonna talk about two things. You're gonna talk about something you did and then something you did before that, okay? So as an example, I cooked, um, what did I cook yesterday? I can't remember. Uh, chili, oh, uh, uh, sweet and sour chicken. That was today. <laughs> sweet and sour chicken, uh-huh, like that. So I, I cooked the sweet and sour chicken, but before that, I had gone to the market. So, okay, how would I say that in a sentence? So I have my two ideas, okay? When I, uh, when I cooked sweet and sour chicken, okay, I had maybe, oh, I had prepared, I had prepared uh, or I had cut all of the vegetables. I cut before I cooked the sweet and sour chicken. Mm. You see? So all it is is just a matter of being able to tell the order of something. Teacher, and, 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 and when you use the two sentences, I... Uh, uh, exists a connector or, or, or like uh yes you can use the connector like uh when uh, and because uh, what, before, whatever be, before, before. Yeah, yeah you can use before the, okay. the good thing is that is not necessary before because in the moment that you use had is already indicate that this action uh, is before mm -hmm. okay. that's why it's not necessary because had has the function of indicating the time that this action is before. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to make a few sentences with it. You're gonna try to make a sentence with the past perfect. It doesn't matter if you want to use the ing, um, you know, I, 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 if you want to use a simple past, but remember the past perfect is this action happened before the other, okay? So I remember we talked about yesterday with Romulo, the, the example that he was, uh, he was finishing a meeting uh, when in 2001 with the earthquake. He was walking in the parking lot. Do you remember? Romulo said he was walking. But this is in the past. But before Romulo was walking, he had finished a meeting. That's the past perfect because he, uh, I was walking I, uh, uh, or in the earthquake, I had finished a meeting. Ah, finished the meeting before the earthquake. Finished the meeting before walking in the parking lot. It's okay? Yes, teacher. Okay, I'm gonna give you one more example, okay. I am going to go, or I went to the gym, okay? I went to the gym. This was in the past, before the COVID. I went to the gym. Why did I go to the gym? Ah, I went to the gym because I had gained weight. I gained weight before going to the gym. Or I had become fat. When did I become fat? I became fat before I went to the gym. 
Okay, that's why I say I went to the gym because, and the action happened before, because I had gained weight. Or maybe something, one more example, I bought a car. Oh, okay, I bought a car, okay, uh, because I had gotten my license. You got your license first, and then you bought the car. You can change the order, the same thing. All right, so now we're gonna try it with our partners. Before we begin, it's okay. Uh, we'll have... Okay. Hi, teacher. I return. You return, huh? Yes. Okay. One moment. One moment, Patricia. Let me try again. Okay. Try. Okay. okay. Try again, Patricia. Okay. Is not possible, Patricia? No, teacher. Okay, I don't know what happened. I'm going to send you to a different group then. Okay. Okay. Can you go to the other group or no? No, it doesn't give me a choice. Okay. So you can't go to any group, but... Any group. Hmm. Okay. Let's try one more time. Let's see. Hmm. Hey, Carla. Hi, teacher. How are you? We're trying to get, I think Patricia's having some technical problems. Yes, I think the same because I'm waiting for her and I can't take that meeting with session, the, the small group number three. Okay. Okay. I'm going to send you to a different group and I'm going to try to help uh, Patricia solve her problem. Okay. okay, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Hey, teacher, I don't. Uh -huh, Patricia, you don't. I don't hear. You didn't, you, you can't enter the groups, huh? Not the chair. 
Mm. Uh, if um, I leave, leave a meeting and again, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, try that. Try to leave and then come back. Maybe that will fix okay, it. Okay, teacher. Okay. 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 It doesn't give me a, a choice. Okay. Let me try to send you to, a, let's try one more time to send you to another group. And, you know, if not, then we'll, we'll see what we can do. We'll try to think okay. of something else. Okay. Oh, I, I say you. today afternoon mm -hmm. I was walking in my neighborhood mm -hmm. and I had seen an accident. Is correct, teacher? Make sense? I do, mm. It makes it kind of, but the, you had you saw the accident before you were walking. Yeah. So uh, this is the, the, the only problem. I was before, yes. The action is a, I, 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 ah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. Uh, or is because it's a past continue. Mm -hmm. I can use a past perfect too. Yes, yes. It's not the problem. Is not that the the past continues. The problem is the the logic for the sentence, because if you were if you saw the accident, is you saw the accident before you were walking, no, uh -huh. no. While I was walking. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I, if it's, I had seen an accident mm -hmm. before, I. No, before no. While I was walking in my neighbor, no. No, in this case, in no, in this situation is while I was walking in my neighborhood. This is the uh -huh. this is the first action. The other action interrupt. I saw an accident. Mm -hmm. This is this is the difference for the the continuous. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. So you see that the 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 problem is for the logic of the sentence that. You had seen the accident before, okay? So maybe um, uh, I was walking in my neighborhood. I had put on my jacket. This is logical because you, yeah. put, you put on your jacket before you begin walking. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But in yeah, the second yeah. one is the interrupt the action. Yeah, yes, yes. Yes, I understand. Yes, okay, I okay, good, good. Okay. Yes, Elizabeth. Um, for example, uh, no, no, uh, do, I have to, do I have to go? Uh, it just, we don't have to go, but I'm going to create the rooms again because it just automatically popped up. Okay, let's go and then we create the rooms again. You can ask the question. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Okay, hang on.
Okay. Okay, so just to make sure we get the idea. So the, the structures can be correct. You just, in some cases, you just have to think about the order, okay? What happened first, what happened second, okay? And what happened before that? That's going to be the ideas, okay? And let's see. I, I, we were supposed to continue practicing, but then it just it sent us out. I think it was some kind of uh, mistake there, okay? So first, are there any questions? Anybody that has any, anything that is not clear at this moment that we're practicing? Yes, teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, in this case, we are using the verb have, right? Correct. A, A D. Yes. So I can use uh, the ne next verb, it must be in past, right? It, no, no, no. It must be in past participle. Past participle. Uh, past participle. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's correct if I say I had had a meeting. That is correct. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Is W had had teacher? Yes. Okay. That's Edwin mentioned. It's because one is the auxiliary always, always is had. And the second is the verb in this situation is had. Okay. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth, did you have a, um, did you want to ask me now or later? Um, yeah, I can ask you right now. I was um, doing an example and I'm not sure about the, the um, if it's okay. I went, I went to buy a ticket, but um, it had sold out or had okay, sold good. out, had sold out. Yes, yes, I went to buy a ticket, but, but mm -hmm. they, but they, they, had, they had sold out. Oh. Mm -hmm. They and have that, sold out. Oh. That is correct because they sold out before you bought the ticket. Exactly. Okay. Sure. Yeah, Rocio. Is it okay if I say when she cooked the dinner, Kuma, she had washed his hands? Yes, when she cooked dinner, she, no he, she had washed her hands. And it's okay. Uh, there is a coma before dinner. After yes, dinner after, and before she. After, correct. That that is for the when, when she cooked dinner, comma, she had washed her hand. Okay. Mm -hmm. Me. Okay. I have eaten a chicken sandwich that my mother had made for me. Okay, that's correct. Not so, it's not necessary so many hats, but it's correct. It okay. Could, yes, it could be only, no, because it's not necessary uh, that I had eaten a chicken sandwich that my mother had, eat, had made for me. The, the first part is the part that is confusing because you have two times had. In, okay. So it's, I, I ate a chicken sandwich. Uh, this, okay. This action, and then the had, my mother had, uh, this action before had uh, made for me okay thank mm -hmm. you you're welcome anybody else would like to give an example make sure you understand correctly okay so then uh, yes Romulo go ahead uh, today I began the class before I had met the teacher, is correct? Yes, uh, today <laughs> I began the class before I had met the teacher. So 
No. <laughs> maybe, maybe yes, but the, the, the sentence is correct because today you start the class, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Before you, and you met me before. Okay, only the, 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 the thing is for the word before, because in this, in this context, change the meaning. So for example, when you say, I, I, um, I started the class before I had met the teacher is, is contradiction because you say you do the class uh, first and then you meet the teacher. Before I met the teacher. Uh-huh. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So the, the best way is, is to change the word before Romulo. So I, uh -huh. I started the class, okay? Um, okay, and this, then in this case is not before, in this case it would be after I had met the teacher. Or we can change the order of or the sentences? I, yes, or change the order of the words. I met the teacher, okay? Okay, this, this action uh, first, and then I met the teacher, uh, but I had begun the class. You begun the class before you meet the teacher in this case. Can we say, um, I had met the teacher before the star the class start i had met the teacher before the class started just mm -hmm. just <laughs> yes no no but it's it's okay because this is the, in the in in the normal order yeah. because you what you did is change the word had not having the second part but having the first part so it's a normal it's a normal sequence Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Rocio. <laughs> the teacher too. <laughs> no, you're welcome. I have met the teacher before. Yes, I, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, I got it. Okay. So it's these are a little tricky, not because they're incorrect, but because sometimes the logic behind them we have to be mm -hmm. careful with. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. gram remember, grammatically is correct. Grammatically is correct, but it's not the same. I had taken a shower and got, and, and got dressed. Then I got dressed and had taken a shower. <laughs> right? The, the, the idea is that which action happened first? The two, the same, the same words, only, only the order is what changes. And the order tells you the difference. Okay, here we're gonna have, uh, I'm gonna show you a little bit more. We have a little bit more about the past perfect. And also we're going to take a look at a, what is the passive. Do you remember what is the passive? What is the what? The passive. When we read a book, uh, the book had been written or something like that. Okay, okay. So the passive is, yes, the, the idea of the, the passive is that this person receives the action, doesn't do the action, or this object receives the action, they don't do the action. When we think about active, it's exactly like the name, activity, action. Okay, so when you say this is an active sentence, ah, okay, this means the person does the action. I cook, Romulo cleans, Elizabeth washes, Jose cuts. These are active. All of us do an activity, okay? But when we talk about passive is the object receives the action, okay? The food was prepared. The food received the action. Okay, the potatoes were cut. 
the potatoes don't cut themselves, someone cuts them, okay? The dishes were washed. Someone, the dishes received these actions. This is the passive. The passive is receiving and the active is doing. This is the easiest way to think about it. The reason I mention is because I see that in our next exercises, we have in the 4.8, 4.9, um, we also have uh, um, a lot of the, the idea for the passive, especially with, with the idea in 4.8. So we're going to watch the video on 4.8, which is about the, the passive. It's a little bit, a little bit long, but we, it's about four minutes, so it's, I mean, it's not extremely long, but uh, the important is that it's clear how we're using these past tense and the functions of them. Okay. 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 One moment. Been lots of examples. So if um, we write the example that I, I gave to you in uh, just a couple of seconds ago. Um, I let me write that down. I went to a party last weekend, but uh, when I got there, my friends had eaten all the food. Okay, so if we think about that example there, what I'm doing is I'm talking about two events that occur in the past. And it's important for me to relate the two because that will uh, emphasize my idea. It will outline what I'm trying to express. I went to a party last week. This is what took place last weekend. So that is that X, if you will, all right? But when I got there, my friends had eaten all the food. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and highlight that in a different color. Um, my friends had eaten all the food. This is the event in the circle that you see there. This happened before I got to the party. So whenever I say I went to a party last weekend and my friends ate all the food, what that means is that I went to the party and when I got there, there was food at the party and then my friends ate it. But that's not really what I want to express. What I really want to explain is that I went to the party and there was no more food left because something had happened before that and that was the fact that my friends ate the food. So that's why this is really important. You need to know when to use this particular topic. So I'm going to continue to give you more examples. Now let's look at the examples on the chart. As you can see the examples on the chart um, refer to uh, basically it's a uh, it's a person that uh, was at the gym and uh, he forgot to lock his locker and therefore this is what took place. Right? As we'll analyze the examples that are there, I was working out and I had put my stuff in my locker. All right, wait, let, let's stop there for a second. I was working out is the past event. That's that X, if you will. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to relate the second event to that past event and I have put my stuff in my locker. So th that I have put my stuff in my locker is the past perfect event that happened before this past event. So it's that little blue circle that you see there. When I came back, that's that event there. That's the uh, past event, okay? Someone had stolen my wallet. So um, I came back, but before this event, someone had stolen my wallet, all right? They were able to steal it, that's the past event, so that's that X, if you will, because I have forgotten to lock the locker. All right, now, that is the past perfect event, as you can see there. Let me just give one last example here. Okay, for those that are a little confused, think of it as a story. These three sentences are a story. The person is going in order of what they are talking about. Like, oh, Romulo, oh, Elizabeth, I was working out and I had put my stuff in my locker. When I came back to the locker, okay, someone had stolen my wallet, okay? Oh, they were able to steal it because I forgot to lock the locker. So this is like a little story. And you can see the person is mixing one and one and going back and forth. 
and they're using the continuous, they're using the simple, they're using the perfect, but they're using it because they are able to put the orders. Every time they make something here in the past event, ah, they remember or they want to say this happened before that. That's the idea of the X in the circles. The circles are all of the past perfect events. The X are all of the past events. I'm, I'm not sure. Is that clear for everybody that this is like a little story that they're talking about and all of the past events are the X and all of the past perfect are the circle. And the person is just talking about how or what happened to them that day. Mm -hmm. is, is that okay? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay. So here we have, okay. The same thing happens if it's a negative event. So what well, we have the subject is I, it follows the auxiliary verb. Okay. Like I said, these verb, the, these videos are fairly long, but it's the same thing, but is the same if we put them into a negative form. So if we have in the positive, the same, uh, the meaning is the same. Okay. Here, we're going to take a look at a few negatives. Okay. For the negatives, we're going to use hadn't and the past participle. So we're going to have the subject, I hadn't, and then the past participle. Okay. Yes? Okay, so for example here, what happened? Oh, the person didn't lock the locker, but they didn't do this before the other event. So in that case is I hadn't locked my locker. That is the negative, okay? But it means it's the same grammar, it's the same order. That means that this action happened before the other action that I returned. Okay, hang on, let me see. I'm not sure if you guys were clear with the negatives, right? So it doesn't matter if it's positive, it doesn't matter if it's negative. If you use had it or if you use hadn't is the same order. It happens first. This action is the first action that occurred or happened. Hi, everyone. Are we okay with that? Yes, teacher. Yes. Can you, can you uh, give us an example of that? Uh, sure. Negative form? Correct, okay. Um, I, um, I, I left the house or I left my house, but I hadn't turned off the stove for cooking. So I left the house, but before I left the house, I forgot or I didn't do this action. I hadn't turned off the electricity or I hadn't shut off the TV. Can so may yeah, it's kind of complicated because <laughs> maybe like maybe like in a, in a in a in a real life, I will say um and I didn't um uh, turn turn off. You say what, what? Yes, turn off turn off the the TV for example. And I and I forgot to turn to turn off the the stuff. Yeah, it's the same meaning. It Me. means that when you, when you're when you're speaking or when you're when you're having it's the same meaning. So I had I left the office and or but I hadn't turned in the report. So I didn't turn in the report before I left the office. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, Vera. I have, I have a question. Um, <clears throat> why don't we use didn't instead of hadn't? Okay, good question. The reason is because 
didn't means that it usually means that the action happened at the same time or the action is finished. Hadn't indicates an action that happened before the other action. Didn't does not indicate the action happened before. This is the function of hadn't. The function of hadn't is to indicate the order of the actions. It indicates that this action is first. Mm -hmm. so, so, so as an example, for, for you, Veronica, for example, uh -huh. I, I didn't study for the exam. Or, sorry, I didn't pass the exam. I didn't pass the exam. But before... I hadn't studied, right? Uh, so I, I have a sentence, like, tell me if, if it's bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was studying English because I didn't understand the subject. It is bad? No, the grammar is correct, but the meaning is different. The meaning is at the time that you are studying English, at that time, Happen. you don't understand the English. That's why it's necessary I hadn't. Because I hadn't is that you didn't understand the subject before you before. began the class. And with the class, you understand. But if you say I didn't understand is at the time you are studying, at that moment, you didn't understand. Okay. Mm -hmm. So just so you are clear, Veronica, when you say the sentence is correct because you are using correct the grammar, didn't and you are using the correct hadn't. The difference is the meaning when you say didn't is for that action. When you say hadn't is for before that action. Okay. Mm -hmm. you. You're welcome. And I think the easiest way to think of it is thinking about the exam because you didn't pass the exam, it's, it's clear. But why? Because before you hadn't studied. No, you didn't study. Well, you didn't study at the, in the same moment, it's, it's, it's illogical. But it's logical to think, ah, I didn't study before I didn't pass the exam. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. no, okay. Mm -hmm. It seems. Okay. It to me, no. Okay. So imagine Elizabeth. Elizabeth, uh, you said you wanted to buy a bigger house sometime in the future when you have the possibility, right? Yeah. Okay, exactly. Imagine, imagine you had an opportunity. Imagine today they say, okay, Elizabeth, I give you a big house, but I need cash. I need money. Uh, and you say, oh, I didn't buy the house. Why? Because before the opportunity, I hadn't saved money. Mm -hmm. That's how we use it. That's, those are the, 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 the situations or the ideas where you normally would use this context. Okay, so many times, another way people think of it is like cause and effect. But with this is the effect and then the cause. The effect, I didn't buy the house. What is the cause? I hadn't saved the money. Mm -hmm. What is the effect? Okay. I, I didn't pass the exam. What was the cause? I hadn't studied for the exam. So it's, you can think of cause and effect if it helps you, but remember that it's the opposite order, or in this case, many times that's the way that it goes. Okay, we're gonna go one more time with our partners. We wanna try to just try to formalize and make sure it's clear in our minds and try to use it, okay? And when I say a sentence or when you say a sentence, your partner is going to tell you what they understand. So as an example, if I said I didn't pass the exam um, because I hadn't studied for it, my partner is going to tell me, okay, first you didn't study and then you didn't pass. If this is what I mean, it's correct. 
This is the idea. We want to make sure that we are understanding what our parents. Okay, you guys ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it. What happened? I don't know, Edwin. You are it takes with me out. You are with Rocio. He took you out. Yeah. Okay. I was with Veronica. Okay, one moment. Try again. Again, a problem, Edwin. Yeah, I don't know why. Okay, okay. Let me change you to a different group. Let me try a different group, okay? Okay. Okay. I had a cooked uh, dinner. Uh -huh. Because uh, I I finish um, late. Because because um, my work. On... I had um, bought the the food in the supermarket. Mm -hmm. Or the ingredients is better. Uh -huh. Hi, Rosie. Um, can I say, yeah, Rosie? Okay, um, teacher, I have a question. Is there any difference with the verb wake in past participle? Because I, I don't know, is it wake it or woken? Correct. Woken, Rocio. Woken. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I lost the bus because I hadn't woken up early. Okay. Kevin, and what? Uh huh. What did you understand? Yeah. What action happened first? That uh, she was woken, so he left the bus. Good. Good. She didn't, she didn't remember, uh, she didn't wake and she lost the bus. Exactly. Okay. Um, only that in, in, in English, I understand you, but it's not I lost the bus or she lost the bus, is she missed the bus. Missed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay, have an example. Uh, I was. I was I was driving my car in the city mm -hmm. when my friend called me for a party. Mm -hmm. When my friend called me for a party. Jose? But, uh -huh. mm -hmm. You didn't use had. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> First, we got to use had, right? Uh, in whichever part, you can use at the mm -hmm. beginning or at the end. Only remember ah, okay. that when you use had, indicate this is the first action. It doesn't matter if it's at the ah, beginning okay. or at the end, but in the moment you use had is the first action. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. I have... I have been in my car, or maybe I have been driving my car when my friend was calling me for good, a party. Good, but no calling when my friend called. Called. Yes, remember always 
when the action interrupt or the action come in the middle of another action is the simple, is the simple form. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Good. Okay. Hello. Yes. Hello. Oh. What happened? I don't know. It was. It, uh, <laughs> yes, yes, Elwin. You were saying. Yes, I was saying that thing was a new word for me too. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, think, I think the example was what's cool, Romulo. I okay. think you are. Can you can you tell can you tell your your uh, sentence to the teacher, uh, Romulo? Okay. Before the Titanic sank, uh, the captain hadn't sent geographical coordinated. Ah, very good. Very good. That is correct. He didn't do this, the sending of the geographical, 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 uh -huh. sorry, geographical coordinates, <laughs> geographical yeah. coordinates before the Titanic sank. Exactly. That is right. Okay. Ha, I knew Romulo. I knew you were going to get it correct. <laughs> <laughs> I tried it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> Uh, okay. Yellow. Very, hello, hello. Okay. Very good. Very good. So with this activity, this is the last activity for the perfect, for the past tenses. So we have the past tense, we have the, the, um, the past, the simple past, the past continuous, and now we have the past perfect. The important is you understand the different functions. One more time. The past perfect is for the first action that you are talking about. This is the first activity. It doesn't matter if it's at the beginning of the sentence or at the end. In the moment you use had, you indicate to the person this is the first action. The idea of the past continuous, we use for an activity that you were doing at a specific moment or an activity that you were doing when another action happened. The, when the other action happened or the action that interrupts is the simple past, okay? Now, remember, this is all because we have two actions in the sentences. If we only have one action, it's the simple past. I didn't go to work. I ate pupusas. I left my house. This is only one action. But if you have two or three actions in the sentence, it's necessary to organize the order. And to organize the order is the function. Past perfect, the first action. The past continuous, the action that you were doing but not finished, and the past simple, the action that stopped, or the action that interrupted the past continuous. All right? Okay, yes. Okay, great. Take a moment, look at the videos and check, and tomorrow we begin lesson five. Okay? Okay, teacher. All right, guys, have a great night. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank Good you. Night. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.